The groundbreaking ceremony of the Kojo Motos situated in Umunya Uyi in Anambra State was a success as the governor himself was there live to, you know, dedicate the place and as the commence work. Now, it is going to be a moto produ producing factory in the city or in the state of Anambra State. We all know that the good people of Anambra are full of infrastructural development and creating factories for production. This is going to be a manufacturing company and an assembling company for cars just like Innocent Motors and other Nigerian-made cars. Well, here is the groundbreaking ceremony and the entire Soludo speech from this particular one, encouraging the good people of Anambra to keep coming back to invest. Like I said, my first point is gratitude, gratitude to all of you who have taken this bold step. And in any case, it is in your own best interest. When I say to people that coming to Anambra to invest is not an act of charity or act of philanthropy, it is a business decision because it is in your own best interest. For the Yukon group, and when I was, I think you were there last night, when I was talking about the Chinatown, huh? and I'm, I'm very serious about it, we're going to cover out the Chinatown, so you can build the town with the dragon, and then when you come, you can come there to see you and eat uh, the best of Chinese food and Chinese supermarkets and so on and so forth. And I can then buy more of the Chinese tea from there. And then gradually you come and start manufacturing Chinese tea here as well. That's the whole agenda. Eh? Uh -huh. So the Anambra, this is the agenda. The agenda is an Anambra state with the highest population density of any state in Nigeria after Lagos. After Lagos, we have the highest population density per square kilometer. We have arable land, but our land space available for agriculture is very small, very limited. In 50 years to come, that won't be the future. Unless through modified ones and where's that building to the sky as they are doing now in some other countries. Other than that, we have very, very limited land space for the type of agriculture that we are used to. And therefore, we've got to think ahead. We've got to think 50 years from now, 100 years from now, 200 years from now, where lies the future. And that future will lie essentially in industrialization. Industrialization. Technology leisure entertainment, services, financial and so on, logistics as a hub and so on. So we are putting the essential pillars for that future that we must claim. Only those who plan can control the future. Only those who plan can control the future. And that number, that future is what we are bringing forward today. We've seen that future and we are putting the pillars so that by the time the world wakes up, we're already there at the, the, at the, I mean, at the planned future. Industrialization is key. And then the second point I want to make to our people is to now ask our people all over, all over the world. Yesterday we signed 13 MOUs, agreements, and then in addition to the seven we signed earlier, those who are developing the modern estates that will turn out to become the new uh, Orca areas, as it were. We've signed with seven of them. Most of them are already deployed to site to build planned modern smart cities. Not something, uh, not the previous ones. You know, a whole lot of the other ones where people just merely acquired land. You know, do one small road here and there, start selling the land. And you go there and people are just building in a haphazard manner and so on. And the ones that we are doing, they are properly designed, standard, with the highest standards that you can find anywhere in the world. And we will enforce that those standards are maintained and kept 
uh, from now going on because that's the best of the world. So 20 of them already signed. By the time, I mean, as we dismissed yesterday, several people were calling me to tell me to put them on the diary, either those whom are going to do groundbreaking for their own or those who want us to sign some agreements and those who want land to come and build and so on and so forth. We're expecting that in months to come, Anambra will be a very large construction site by the private sector, not just the government, by the private sector. Because this is the place to be. Anambra is a hub. It's a hub. I will be walking, MM, they would, um, you carry the message, will come, we will all get on the, uh, to meet all the people in Abuja. The highway linking Anambra to Kogi needs to be done. When that is done, I will tell you in about three hours, when the Lokoja Abuja road is done, and we know the bit here from here to Lokoja, in three hours you will be in Abuja by road. In three hours you will be there. That's the gateway. And I can tell you the level of traffic you find there. Then there is another highway from Oparo area that busts into rivers, the Indoni area of River State. When that is dualized and done by the federal government, I can bet you people from Port Harcourt and so on and so forth will prefer to come to Anisha to shop because this is where it happens. This is where it happens. We are a hub. This is, this is the center. And by the time the river port gets on to work, become a port of final destination and So I tell our people this is the next axis of sustainable prosperity. Sustainable prosperity. This is the time to take position. Those who will come at the second wave will pay a premium. Those who will come at the third wave will pay even higher premium. Those who will come at the fourth one will pay even much, much higher premium. So for those of you who have made the investment decision today, you are very smart. Because it's your own best interest. And I will say to the Anambra all over the world and to Nigerians and to the world here, anything you want to do in Anambra, you want to produce it here, call me. We'll come to market it. This particular product, the CNG powered uh, buses and trucks, that's the future. That's the future. It is our today and the future. And I also went out here, I mean, one of the speeches, I heard that you will be scaling up to electric cars. Is that, is that part of the plan? Huh? That's, you are scaling up to the uh, electric cars as well. Zero emission. Oh my God. This will fit into, I mean, perfectly then, a clean and green and sustainable environment. Ah. If you if you build that one, me I will be I will buy the first one that you produce. Huh? And now I did hear a comment by your I think your the manager or so who made the proposal that uh, the key to its uh, sustainability is government patronage. But I, I want to tell you the key is not just government patronage. The key. Because we are hoping, we are building a prosperous homeland. Prosperity is it all. 98% of our wealth, of our income in Anambra is in private hands. It's in private hands. You know the number of thousands, thousands of buses and vehicles moving people all around Anambra and in Nigeria. This is the home for long hauls of buses, bus transportation in the country. And so, when it is done right, all these, you know, long haul bus transport companies that are crisscrossing all over the country, one of them can come and place order for 100, for 200, or whatever, instead of going to bring them in from Brazil or from whatever, whatever countries that they bring them in. This is the place. Government will buy so much, but one thing you take for granted is that once you produce it, if government needs 
buses of that nature. We cannot go beyond Omonia to now go to start looking for it anywhere. We have to come here, we we'll just tell you, you deliver. Eh? This one, no duty free. No, it's duty free. Eh? No, nothing. In fact, you don't even drive much. Because if you buy it elsewhere, you have to drive it for kilometers, hundreds of kilometers to reach Anambra. Here, when I do it, uh, how many? Just a few meters. Five minutes you deliver. So don't worry about that one. About the, um, the how the name came about. My John there, Mokoli there, my Ogwe. So when I came, well, my father died, he came back at Kesibia. Where Okoli named me, another O, where John, Ogwe, Ogwe, oh, so I went to Kojo. My father died, when I went to Kojo, I don't think it's uh, Ghanaian. No, I went to Anambra. But, I went to Kwebia. But this is one Anambra, one state, one people, one agenda. Uzo kwe bwa ne toka nge ku. Nke mbo. Well, for M.M. Ibrahim, who may not be understanding, I know he is Ibonais, but uh, there are some deeper ones I will do. He will, he will need somebody to interpret for him. The first is gratitude to God and gratitude to our brothers. Our brother, the chairman, his son, and today, uh, uh -huh. and the management of Kojo Models, Omar. Because as the Commissioner for Industry said, we have come today to celebrate something important to us. I said that at the, um, um, at the summit yesterday. We are very intentional about this. We are very deliberate. Our agenda is to be able to get our people, the most enterprising people, I would say, on earth. Eh? I know the Yutong, uh, Utong Motors. Uh, you are here, but these people must ex will, must enterprise on people from importation to production, and from production, this company will not only begin to satisfy local market but also to export. In my manifesto, we said it is from importation to exportation, and this is the agenda. This is part of it. We must be able to bring it home. And I'm glad you Tom Motors is providing the technical assistance, providing after sales service. And he talked very use a very interesting phrase. Technology transfer. Technology transfer. Give it up, people, give them a few more years. They will produce modifications and extensions and the extensions of this particular product that they will be assembling here today, uh, from now on. I also understand, I commend you, because last night I had a chat with Chinedu, and I was interrogating him about how quickly are we going to begin to see, uh, I want to come and drive a vehicle out of this place. How quickly can that happen? And he told me, how many months did you tell me? Six, the answer. <laughs> uh -huh. So it is not me saying, did you say, how many months will it take for us to roll out the first vehicle from here? Six months, sir. Six months. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you very much. Six months from today. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So help me, join me in the count. From 8th of September to 8th of October is 1. To 8th of November. To 8th of December. To 8th of January. To 8th of uh, February. 
to 8th of uh, March. So, before my second anniversary, which will be on the 17th of March, I will come here to drive out the first venue. This one, Igwe, I'm 18 years old. And so, up on, if I have to say, Igwe, they're all bringing their offer. He said, six months, and you put it on my diary. On the 8th of March, I will drive and come here. Say, show me the vehicle. Show me the vehicle. On the 8th of March, I will be here. <laughs> eh? Yes. On the 8th of March, we will be here to drive the first vehicle out of this place. This is done. And I think this is the whole agenda for the country. This is what Nigeria should be all about. China has done it. With one point something billion people on Earth. You are doing it and supplying to the rest of the world. By 2050, 2050. <laughs> Every media behind behind the loop inside that Let's go back. 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 Let's go you don't have uh, I think it's pretty stiff. Well, this is actually the event. The event itself is the groundbreaking. And I will call it ground, I mean, uh, and also foundation laying ceremony. But this is the second automobile. Uh, company in Anambra State, and as we lay this for this, um, do this groundbreaking uh, prayer. This is on the uh, four hectares, huh? about four hectares of land. Um, well, I will speak when we finish from here, but we are expecting as I look at this and I see the endless, I can't even see the end of the uh, piece of land. Um, that's where it's difficult to see the infinite possibilities that are with this particular company. And um, we will lay this foundation to the glory of God. And um, as the second automobile uh, industry, but also unique as the one, the first CNG 
manufacturing company in Nigeria, isn't it? And then also we're going to have our first CNG um, uh, station around here. All of them happening in Omonia. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, thank you all. To the glory of God, let's do the, uh, the needful. Then we go there, we'll have quite a few things uh, to say. This is a great day in Anambra. After the summit, this is a great way to begin the next day. And that is the groundbreaking ceremony. So it's not just talk. It is action. Talk and do. Talk and do. 